what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we're doing a lightroom tutorial on how to print to the canon pixima pro 100 with my favorite media type that's very inexpensive we're using the canon photo paper pro luster in eight and a half by 11 with the oem ink that canon provides i have already replaced these cartridges this is the ink that i stick to because i sell my prints from home we're going to be using a laptop that's got a screen that is calibrated so you get the best results to your printer we're also printing wirelessly to our canon printer today and if you want a tutorial on how to do that leave a comment down below i will help you out and make a video for you also if you like what you're seeing hit that like button click the subscribe with the bell notification so you get shown every time i upload a video to help you out now that we've got that said let's come into the library tab of lightroom click the image we want head on over to the develop tab once you're in the develop tab we're going to come down to the bottom left hand corner and click on soft proofing if you don't want to use your mouse you can use the shortcut on the keyboard which is s that pops up under the histogram you have proof settings this is where you want to select the photo paper that you're using and you can see it says simulate paper and ink this gives you a pretty darn close result of what's going to come out on your paper i suggest you bump the exposure just a little bit because on our screen we have a backlit and on paper you will not have that with that we're going to move to the print tab and under the print tab we're going to click on page setup it opens this screen Click on your printer, which today we are using the Canon Pro 100 series with the XPS driver. Then we come down here, make sure that we have the paper size, which is eight and a half by 11, printing from the rear tray in landscape mode. With all that being selected, we're gonna move into the properties tab. It's gonna say quick setup. Click on photo printing. To make sure you move to the right hand side here and click on preview before print so you save yourself ink and you save yourself money. Because if you don't and you accidentally hit print, you're going to be wasting money, which is a bummer for all of us. We don't want to waste more than what we've invested. So we're not doing borderless printing. We're not printing in black and white, but you want to make sure this little box next to color intensity manual adjustment is selected. It brings up this screen. Click on matching by default driver matching will be selected you're going to click none make sure you do this step because if you don't you're going to double color profile at the end when i show you under print job click ok click ok click ok with that come up here to layout style we're going to print a single image if you want to do picture packages custom packages multiple images on your page you can do that as well but I'm only printing one. Under images, image settings, we have rotate to fit in case you're cropping, it'll spin the image to the best proportion for that piece of paper. Under layout, I have all my borders selected for quarter inch all the way around, but as you can see, the top and the bottom is a little more than a quarter because this image is cropped. Come down here to guides. Number one I select is dimensions. So I can verify that the size of this picture is gonna fit in whatever dimensions I want on the final output. That isn't your paper size, that is your picture size. Come down here to page. You have the ability to set an identity plate or a watermarking. I put my watermarking in the identity plate, gives me ability to drag and drop, move it around, change the opacity or the scale. Let's keep on moving come down here to the final step most important step is this little screen right here print resolution I leave at 300 all the time you can play around with that that's just my sweet spot of where I like to stay print sharpening you can either select low standard or high depending on the type of picture you're printing if you want a little bit more sharpness put involved but I'm gonna leave it at standard for this image on a glossy media type this section right here under color management is where a ton of people make mistakes, including myself when I first started with Lightroom printing. You're going to want to click the ICC profile for the paper type that you are using to get the correct color output when you print. 
With that being said, we're gonna click print. It'll pop up print preview and we'll show you that in the next screen. What I've noticed with the XPS preview is it looks way more cool than what is actually going to print. I don't know why that is, that's just it. So once you're all said and done, you're going to come down here and you're going to click on print. Hey guys I just want to say thanks for watching the videos if this was helpful to you at all hit that subscribe button give it a bell notification so you're reminded every video that is posted and give me a like don't forget to talk down in the comments below so I can help you out if you have any questions or if you want to see other videos I'm gonna put some links up here so you guys can see previous videos and let me know what you think see you on the next one guys